Okay, and we are now out of executive session at 9.15. Following on with our agenda, I'm now going to go to Paul Public and Miss Elmore. Oh, thank you. Paul Council. Paul Council. Paul Council. Nobody looked at anything for it. Community Day Board. Oh, all right. Community Day Board. I do. So the flow is this Friday on the green oh, I saw that. at 6.30. Barktoberfest is tomorrow at our dog park at 5.30 to 7.30. We have the Purple Run, which the mayor already brought up, which is an awesome event uh, on the 12th at 9 a.m. Uh, we have Fall Fright coming up uh, at the White Volcano Park on the 25th and 6th night, and then the Homey Walk on the 26th um, at 12 o'clock that night. And then um, everybody should decorate. If you haven't already, decorate, 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 because uh, and submit your pictures to Whitehall Community Celebration Association because um, they are doing the contest. Sorry, I, didn't know I know, about that. you were about to just. Yeah, that was, that was some good stuff. It is. All right, anything else for Community Day Board? That covered everything. I say, because usually Amy, I can count on you for one. All right, now I'm going to go to uh, poll council. Miss Elmore. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I want to thank our viewers and even those who probably tuned out but are back on again. Thank you for staying with us. I want to thank those that, that um, presented special presentations for Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Domestic Violence, a very serious, serious issue. Um, and that's all I have, thank you. And for that, I thank you. Mr. Morrison. Thank you, Mr. President. Would also like to thank everyone who has been watching and patient the last couple of weeks. These meetings have been a little lengthy, but I think they've been productive as well. I thank the mayor for his proclamations. I think that is very appropriate and appreciated. And everybody has a good week. Thank you. Ms. Heck. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, everybody that tuned back in or is watching it later on. Um, thank you, Mayor Dimmons, for the proclamation. Uh, thank you, Dolly, who's no longer here, but that was um, a great presentation on what is going on programming that they're doing. Um, thank you, Chief Crispin, who is no longer with us, um, who came in and answered all of our additional questions. I think it was uh, very helpful, and um, that's all I have. Thank you. Ms. Smith. Ms. Harkar. Yes, thank you. Um, again, thank you for the proclamations. Um, thank you, City Attorney, for um, a little bit more information on domestic violence. Um, you talked about the different forms. Financial abuse is one of the biggest reasons that people stay besides safety. Um, I'll be at the Ohio Domestic <coughs> Violence Press Conference next week um, to get some more information on the numbers from this last year, which is it's always nice to go to that press conference, but it's also it's a hard, a hard one to go to because you don't get um, cheerful news typically from that. Um, the Ohio Domestic Violence Network, if you don't know what else to do, you can look there if you're out of county or out of town um, to get some resources. Um, there's a lot of information on their website, so I just wanted to say that. Um, again, thank you to Dolly. She is just a lovely person and is so uh, great um, over at the Y. Um, and thank you to Chief Crispin for coming back in again and answering more questions from us all. Um, I know that this was a, you know, a, a long evening and a hot topic, but um, I know protecting people's civil rights is something that's important to all of us. 
um, and I appreciate the answers that he was able to provide for us. So that's all I have. Have a good evening. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Dixon. Thank you, President Potter. I want to thank everyone that uh, was here and or is still here, and those, of course, uh, watching from home, as always. Uh, thank you to uh, Ms. Crespo for her um, information and uh, presentation. Uh, thank you to the mayor for his uh, two very worthy uh, proclamations. And uh, regarding uh, the city attorney's uh, commentary on the domestic violence, you know, I'm, I'm glad that uh, people have uh, these sort of resources to go to within the midst of these uh, issues that exist. Uh, it's my hope, and of course everyone's hope I suspect, that one day we'll get to the root causes and be able to uh, 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 cut those off and, 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 and come around and stop things or understand uh, things before they begin. I think that's a, a important. Uh, the new part of Broad Street, you know, I'm thrilled because uh, the part that was just uh, uh, fixed is right near my street. It's and pretty my, nice, right? It's, it was well, lovely, and yes, by the way, it's, it's fantastic. But I'm just talking about all the traffic that decided to go down Doney from Maplewood to uh, Robinwood. So now it will be the former English Village's problem. Mm -hmm. uh, because believe me, I live 10 feet from the street, and it was pretty awful. Uh, finally, I have one thing I wanted to say. I had written it down. I wanted to comment. Um, last week, I had several questions regarding the drone legislation. I felt pressure in the air having as many questions as I did. As such, on that topic, I wanted to say this. I represent the citizens of Ward 1, not the other counselors, not the administration. It is never my wish to belabor a topic so as to keep anyone here an inordinate amount of time. But yet, my allegiance and obligation are to the constituency, uh, not council itself. And while I understand others have their way of doing things and have lives outside of the confines of these chambers, as for myself, with as much consideration for others as I may give, I nevertheless stand fast to the principles I brought with me to these chambers those which most people in this city were aware of long before my election. Therefore, while I sometimes have no questions about certain legislations, legislation, others happen to excite my interests and therefore naturally stimulate questions, particularly in areas of the people's money and their rights. And while officials and their enthusiasts may feel themselves to be above reproach and may indeed be, uh, that nevertheless cannot be allowed to surpass the responsibility I still have to the citizens, that which my job demands I consider. Therefore, in some difficult questions I ask that may or may not be related to any belief or trust I have in some here, my questions are largely to that far-reaching legislation which includes consideration of those far-reaching others who will be here leading this community after we're gone and out of reach of responsibility and rightful judgment and criticism for not doing it right to begin with. I have witnessed firsthand in my 15 years involved in City Hall business that it is far easier to make legislation right for the citizens before it is passed than to change and or undo it after the fact. Therefore, all the effort I put into making it right at the front end is what I owe the citizens, so they don't have to face and deal with the trauma of what is on the back end after it's passed. And that's all I have. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Dixon. Mr. Brown. Thank you, President Potter. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who came out this evening. Thank you to Joe and uh, the officer. I'm sorry, what's your name so I can say it on, on camera? Officer Schneider. Officer Schneider, thanks a lot. All right, thank you both for staying. I appreciate you guys. Um, thank you, Mayor, for your proclamations. Uh, I also am looking very much so forward to uh, the Purple Run. Uh, I've signed up. I think it's going to be a, a great event for a great cause. Um, Mr. Nicodemus, thank you for uh, expanding you know, on domestic violence uh, specifically. Uh, I would just like to thank you for sharing your point of view. And I also just want to uh, you know, thank everyone out there who uh, has gone through situations like this or people 
know people who have gone through situations like this. Uh, my mom is a survivor of multiple forms of abuse, including physical. Uh, she did decide to make uh, the risky decision to leave when I was two. Uh, my, my brother was one to give us a better life. Um, and she's an incredible example of what uh, you know survivors are. And um, she has become an advocate. And I know that um, not every situation ends uh, like hers has. And so my heart goes out to people who, again, are involved in the situ situations or know people who have been. So uh, just uh, want to echo your thoughts on everyone keeping an eye out and doing what we can to, to be the change that we want to see. Uh, thank you, Dolly, for coming out and giving your presentation today. Uh, all work that has been done for the youth, I think, is incredible. Uh, I'm very proud of the city of Whitehall and all their departments for all the work that they do. So thank you all for that. And um, I would also just like to say uh, publicly for anyone who may or may not be watching, uh, I think tonight was um, good for uh, multiple reasons, but I appreciate people who share uh, their concerns and you know being able to have a conversation and being able to go back and forth even when people disagree, I think is an important um, solution to some of the issues that we see today. And so I, I hope that we continue to take that forward and uh, do our best in that regard as well. So thank you all, and uh, have a wonderful week. That's it. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Um, I'm going to kind of echo everybody else, but I'd like to uh, thank the mayor for two proclamations. Um, very worthwhile and very excellent causes. Um, and Mr. Nicodemus, again, on your thoughts uh, and experiences of domestic violence, that's a very serious situation and one that certainly needs attention. Uh, again, like you, I don't know the answer, but I certainly would like to help be a catalyst once that gets figured out. Um, Dolly, thank you for coming, although you've already left. Uh, also, I want to thank the chief for coming out. Uh, again, you know he had other plans. Um, I'm glad that we will get some additional questions answered on that. Um, I think this council stands unanimous as, and that we are big proponents of the police department. You know, me personally, I think this is going to be a great tool for law enforcement to be safer for them and to be safer for our citizens. I, I definitely see this as a win-win situation. And I see the uh, guardrails on there to be in the areas it needs to be and not where it should not be. Um, so I think this would be a, a great addition and it'll be interesting to see just what the results look like after a year. So we'll just have to live through that together. Um, and that actually closes it out for me. So having no additional business. Wait, I have one Larry. thing. Oh. No. I, I forgot one more thing about Tomorrow's limited trash collection. Mm. Oh, oh, I know. Not to make them oh, yeah. You're now at 9.30 at night. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm going to have to go home and do it. So that really awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, he, he did. He went right after you. Oh, All right, yeah. <laughs> I, I've got to check off. <laughs> okay. So if there's no additional business for this council, I'm going to mark us adjourned at 9.28. Already? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>